so in the continuity of yesterday's session today we are going to learn about first model which is instrument index so yesterday we have learned the administration i hope we have created the projects as well so we have completed the project creation so today we are going to learn about instrument index in spa user level going to start today so before going to the user level you shall have the knowledge about hang numbers and loop numbers how to pick from the p and id this knowledge is minimum you must have so this is a sample uh, loop i have shown in this excel sheet you can see the closed loop yeah so in this closed loop you can see the tag yeah. numbers the tag numbers the physical tag numbers also i have listed out the soft tags which is fac so the 230 is nothing but the unit number i took as assumption fe is instrument type 100 is a tag number and uh, io types i have mentioned here if any alarm has been shown here it need to be added in the tag number list in this appropriate loop okay the loop name this is completely a flow loop so the name has been taken as 230 dash f dash 100 okay sir so the local instruments don't have any loop names so no loop name no loop drawings no wiring so pressure gauges level gauges temperature gauges um flow meters like uh, flow indicators such as rotometers variable flow meters so which don't have the loop name this is example for individual or local instruments and this is a open loop okay so open loop pt and this is the loop name so this is soft tag so now we have the knowledge how to take the loop numbers and tag numbers from the p and id okay so next what is the minimum criteria we must learn first before getting into the spa instrument index model the minimum things we must know before entering into the spa okay so like how to prepare instrument index we know that already by looking on the p and id we normally how we prepare we open the excel sheet we create the required columns we start entering the data correct that's a normal practice but when it comes for spa there are certain procedures need to be followed to do the work what are the procedures before preparing instrument index in spa you must know the process functions in spa in spa we have a eight different process functions normally as a instrumentation engineer we all knew the major process parameters which are flow level temperature pressure yeah the four major parameters apart from that in spa there are four more parameters which are general control valve analyzer relief valve so including this plus four total eight process function which you need to mem you memorize this eight process function without fail okay so please memorize uh, the short way to learn quickly is fltp i organized in this manner fltp gcar okay f flow l level t temperature p pressure g general c control wall a analyzer r relief valve fltp gcar in that way you can memorize this is the easiest way i found why this process function has been given in spa software because getting the tag numbers in spa instrument types or instrument types are the the parent entity in spa this instrument types are categorized in spa under the appropriate process function you see here the column b c d in spa as default in default database under the each process category the instrument types will be available as default in the database even it is a project or it is a dummy project in default database as a predefined instrument types always will be there under the appropriate process function mm. under the flow category flow related instrument types will be there under the level 
category, 11th related instrument types will be there under the pressure pressure instruments. Project to project, our instrument types and the short name may vary. Correct? Yeah. So, before starting the SPA work, our first activity is that open a Excel sheet and create instrument type list with these three columns. This is the this is a mandatory. You must do this practice. Create this B, C, D column in your Excel sheet first. Okay. What are the instrument types are used in your project? List out completely. We may have 200 instrument types or 300 instrument types or 400 or 500. Yeah, because in big projects you can see a huge instrument type list. Even we may not seen in some our carrier also sometimes. Yeah some new instrument types will come always so we have to list out everything first you have to prepare column b and c then include the column d finally so all the flow related instrument should go under the flow category all the control related instruments should go under control wall category all control wall such as gate wall low wall on off wall motor operated walls everything should go under the control wall relief wall separate category is there relief wall separate category is there you see here relief wall is separate category so likewise fill the process functions and you will get if you filter out one by one you are able to identify your instrument type list according to your process function so this practice is mandatory you must complete this first okay, okay. All flow related instrument under the flow, all control wall related instruments such as positioner, um, any other um, switches, so control related actuators, everything should go under the control wall category only. Okay, mm. okay sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. So this is first. Okay, B, C, D, we have completed. So we know, we know what is process function now in SPA. Then we know what is instrument type. Next, we are going to uh, see the procedure, okay, how to create the tag number and loop number in SP. So, first activity is create the instrument type in appropriate process category or use the predefined instrument type because always predefined instrument types will be there. If it is fulfilling your requirement, you can go with that, okay. So, this activity mostly controlled by administrator company you need to share this list with the administrator administrator will create in the appropriate category okay because okay. this instrument type is a very uh, like a parent entity for all the tag numbers this is a parent so this need to be taken care very carefully so this will be controlled by your administrator only and second point define the instrument type profile profile in this every instrument type have its own profile like how uh, mr jacobs having his own profile mahesh is having my own profile okay likewise every instrument type have its own profile what this profile contains this profile contains this instrument type required specification data sheet or not this instrument type required process data sheet or not this instrument type required wiring or not so likewise the generic information will be there in the instrument type profile. This also mostly controlled by administrators in real time project. The third point only you are going to do, create the tag numbers and group numbers. Normally in Excel sheet you do data entry. In SPA you have to create it. Multiple windows pop up. You have to feed all the data. How to create this tag number and loop number in SPA? To create the tag numbers and loop numbers, SPA allows us to do in the four different ways. Like, um, imagine Mr. Jacobs is hungry in the morning. Okay, so he he wished to have his breakfast. He have many ways to have the breakfast. Either he can have the breakfast in his home itself. He got ready earlier, so he took the breakfast in home. Second option, he can take his car. He go to the MACD, he can pick the burgers or something, he can have it in the car itself, second option. 
third option he have enough time so he took his car on the way he stopped his car in some restaurant or hotel to have his breakfast so he stopped and uh, he had the breakfast so third way fourth way he don't have time he reached office he late so he started his work after that he went to the breakout area in office uh, there is some canteen so he had the breakfast there so he have like multiple ways to have the breakfast but wherever he take the breakfast the final destination is his stomach okay so the breakfast reaches his stomach his hunger get fulfilled likewise in spa four different ways to create the tag number and loop number you create anywhere in this four methods it will reach the database the end designation is same okay so that's what i want to say so there is no difference wherever you create 